How about now? Uh, let's see here. So I'm in Jason's club. The Kung Fu driving. He was the one that had me uh, buy this. And then we hardly played together. <laughs> What's up? But it functions almost the same way. Um, I want to say after looking up stuff, it's more like Forza Motorsport instead of Horizon. Because Horizon's like the open world version. But this one, here's some of the cars. They look really cool. And they're actual, you know, like there's the Renault that we, I think we have in... I haven't found my escort, I don't think, yet. There's an Audi. Uh, but you go into drive. Bikes is separate. I want to say it's like 15 bucks and one plays this. And then uh, for drive club, you got the the tours, which is what I've been working on today. So all of these, I think, are DLC, and each one has its own set of, like, tracks and stuff. And then, like, there's a lot of them. Um, I've been focusing on this one. So you have different... When you collect so many stars, that unlocks other ones, like this Volkswagen Norway. And then, like, I've gotten kind of far. Here's an Audi showdown. So they have usually objectives in it. You really wouldn't be, man. Um, I want to say... I, I don't know. We've got a million points. Let me look at me. Uh, I was hoping it would say how long I've played. Because I have hardly really played it. Um... I don't even know if I see it. Um, but getting levels is pretty easy. And if you get the... I think I, I got some sort of pack or something at the time for plus users that gave me a lot of that driving score, I think. I can't remember. Um, but I really haven't played a lot. So you can see, like, even doing these, I, ha I have only 33 stars of all this stuff so I've only really done I've done all of these I haven't done this one yet um, but I've done th these I did today these over here so I mean I really if you look at how many races I've actually competed in it's not a lot and then um, now Jason has played it a lot and he's the one that has and I have driving assist on. He doesn't have driving assist because he's actually good at this. But you pick different class, you know, same kind of thing, class of cars. So I can only pick the two Audis that I have. Um, I usually pick the one that has better handling. But the cool thing is you can have club cars. So Jason made up this look for cars and you can choose to be like, we could all have the same color club car. And go right around in races and stuff. 
and then there's the custom ones. And I think you can modify them somehow. So I think I modified this one. And like the emblem on the side is our club emblem. It does look really great though. Like, especially in the winter ones, which I think this might be. You can see like the mountains in the back and like the snow looks pretty darn real. <laughs> and it shows off the area, but you can like just start the event if you want and skip all that. Yeah, it does that every time for each one of these. I think it's part of the load, but then you can just see everything. This is where I'll be driving. Okay. So far, there seems to be still a lot of people, because um, I still see a lot of events being planned. I don't know if those are still by the people, or if those are... I don't know how the events actually work, to tell you the truth. I don't know if it's like the PlayStation creates the events and then people join them, but they seem to be still populated. I don't know if they're as popular as uh, maybe Forza might be. But you gotta think most PlayStation for seven dollars. Oh, and then they have these in the middle. I totally messed that up. Where they'll have like drift challenges in the middle of a race or a sprint challenge. <laughs> I did terrible. So I didn't get that one. That was one of my objectives. But it's only for that portion of the, of the map. I think there's also a speed one, kind of like the speed uh, zones in Forza. And then there's one where you have to like follow the line, and as long as you're on the line, you gain points, and if you ever veer off of it, then you lose points. Sweet! Heck yeah! Make sure to do that so that people don't pass me. <laughs> and this should give you an idea of like the the amount of like XP or whatever they call it that you get for this. And your car gets XP also. So I, do, I think you end up unlocking more and more skins or something for it. 
So see, like, the, I almost leveled my car, and then you help level your club, and then your driver level as well. So you can see, like, 28,000 for just that drive. That's not, you know, that's not bad. So you can see where the million could come from pretty easy. The other cool thing you can do is um, if you're in a club, you can create club challenges. So, like, if I'm not on and you're just by yourself, you got some time some evening, you can create a showdown for everyone in the club and say, like, here's my best time. Try to beat it in two days. And, you know, everyone tries to race and beat it. Of course, I'm in a cl club with two people, so. <laughs> so we'd have to find something else, but. Um, you can see like once you get 46 stars that unlocks so there's a whole lot of content just in the main game but then there's all of the extra stuff so like I think these come with new cars too for each add-on and then there's something else Oh, I think you can go in to see what the bikes are all about, but I don't think I can do it. So same kind of thing, but not near as much content. But yeah, I would say if you have your you have your PS Plus, you might as well try it for seven bucks. You know, it's not bad. Um, trying to see. I don't know where, if you can look inside of here to see where the events are, like the ones I was talking about. It's the, What I was talking about is there in the events section in the PlayStation. Like when you go to events, it pops up for me. Um, and then there's difficulty levels. So easy, standard. So it looks like I've done, oh, I don't know. I didn't even know I've done any on easy before, but uh, the other thing is, I don't know, I don't even know what the options are for Forza, but the settings in this for gameplay, like you, I've got it set on medium brake assist because I'm that terrible, and uh, but if I had it off today and it was, I was horrible, so I think it's geared obviously toward you actually controlling the gear shifts yourself but I could be wrong and then uh, I think you can make your character too this is my guy but it's pretty cookie cut like there's not a lot of options yeah I just wish it had open world in it. If it had open world in it, I'd at least say, you know, this could be an alternative to Forza. But I really do like the open world part, too. But I think Brad would probably love a game like this. Because he likes, I think, just getting in and driving and being done. I don't think he gets the rest as much. Um, so the... So if I go into here, community challenges, this might be it. Yeah, see, these are created by people. So two weeks and three days to do a club time trial challenge with the Audi. And you can just join these. And you, like I said, you can create friend challenges, same kind of thing as the club ones, where you, you can say, try to beat my time, or... So, like, if I tried to create one... Yep, no problem, man. I'll see ya. You should have PlayStation Plus if you're, uh, if you can play online with people. Because I think it's required... Yep, let me know. I'll see ya. I think we're playing Lawbreakers tonight if you want to join in. I don't know exactly what time. 
See ya. It's a cross between um, Call of Duty and Overwatch. And I guess this weekend there's a free beta. So if you want to play it, I would suggest trying to download it now. And if you end up not playing it, just delete it. Alright, let me see if I can figure out how to stop broadcasting.